Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I got the SPD Shadow Ranger here. I got him from my Target, I meant not Target, Walmart. He, uh, the SPD Power Rangers were my favorite Power Rangers, actually. Um, and this was actually one of my favorite guys in it. So, yeah, he got, looks like he comes with a bunch of accessories. Uh, it's kind of hiding behind here, but here's the front. I like the box art though And then here's the side Here's the other side or the back I mean Top not much and then bottom here's the DCBI. I really hope they come out with the uh, green one number three, I believe uh, I forgot his name, but um, He's I remember him being hilarious. So I really hope they come out with him he was my favorite Power Ranger, actually, besides, this is my second favorite. Um, and then I did find number two. I have number one, but uh, yeah, let's crack this thing open. All right, so here's the Star Shadow out of the packaging. He looks really cool, and he has a bunch of accessories, so let's start off with a sword. I don't really remember much of Power Rangers. I might end up doing it. I might rewatch it at some point, but... I never realized this was supposed to take a shape of a dog. I never realized that when I was little. But the sword looks really like what it looked like in the uh, the show. Like the little red there. I actually had a replica of it when I was, well, like a foam toy when I was little of it. That used to be my favorite toy until it broke. But really cool sword. Loved it. And then he has this cool blasting, well, blasting, flaring effect that you put around the sword. Just, whoops, and I dropped it, hang on. Not sure which way it's supposed to go, really. I think it's either, I think it doesn't really matter, but that's what it looks like with it on like that. Looks cool. Uh, and then he comes with a fist hand for his left hand. And then he has this like pointing hand here. He has a grabbing hand for a sword on the other. And then he has another uh, like two finger point, like uh, finger gun uh, for his other. And then he has this cool, uh, the cool uh, like phone thing. I forgot what they were called, but it flipped down and then I forgot what to do. Um, and then he comes with an extra head, the dog head, which is him. Looks really cool, really accurate on what he looked like in the show. A little scaly, nice hair, blue. And then he comes with this, which is supposed to be his neck. So really, you just pop off, uh, if I can. There we go, pop off, pop off that hand, head. And then I think it's supposed to go on like that. And you just pop this one back on, just like that. And then that's how it looks with that, the head swapped. But I'm gonna keep him with the helmet on. I might keep the neck on there just because I don't wanna deal with trying to swap it nonstop. So I'm just gonna keep that on there. Even though it's not supposed to be accurate. I, I prefer to keep my pieces together though. But let's go over to the figure itself. So he has this cool helmet. Really accurate. But I, I used to call him like Bat Power Ranger because of the ears. Because I referenced him as like Batman when I was little. But really accurate on what he looked like in the show. Oh, nice red ears here. The logo. He has that logo on the... Shoulder pads, 100, nice red detailing, blue, really good, nice belt, nice lining. So far, no 
paint mess ups, which is good. And then he has these shin guards, which is not really going to do anything to the paint job, really. Unless they mess something up on the knee pads themselves. But, really cool figure. All right, and then we'll go over his articulation. I may actually have to take that neck piece off because I think that's going to mess with the articulation for the head. Just a little bit. All right, so his head can move down that far. Up just a little bit, side to side. Mm, not much head pivot. Shoulders can move out really far. You get 360 rotation. I think he may have a, yeah, has a butterfly joint back there. Yeah. And he has a bicep swivel. Three, um, double joints to the elbows. Wrist can hinge down that far. Up that far, which is really good. He has a diaphragm joint on the top, so you can go forward that much with that and then backwards that much. And then he also has an ab crunch at the bottom, just like the new Spider Man will. But it doesn't really go down that much, but when you. It, it goes down a little bit more with the diaphragm joint. And backwards, you can get him going back pretty good. And then his legs. Uh, no. Marvel's getting mad. Can you shush him up? Uh, he has no um, drop hips. I think this was made before they were able to do that. But he could get him to kick out that far, which is actually decent. Kick out really far. Even I think that's the same amount as like the other G.I. Joe figures, actually. Backwards, not much, though. He has a thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Uh, shin cut? And Yeah, he has a shin cut somewhere in there. Because... I mean, we'll do that, but ankles can move down, up that far, down that far, ankle pivot. Really love this figure. Awesome Power Ranger. Uh, the only problem that I have is the ab crunch thing, really, but that's really it. That's really good figure. Nice art articulation besides that part. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And for the shout out for today's video for guessing Shadowstar from SPD and mentioning me in their story and tagging me goes to Red Zero and 92. Good job. Um, here are the ones that we will be revealing later and then the ones that we'll be revealing tomorrow. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I did not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.